and she's off walking at the speed of light. It's right, me and the ginger monster. Ginger monster. We're in Edinburgh and we are now walking. Where are we walking to today, Jane? Well, we're walking along the water of Leith, which is the river that flows through Edinburgh. Yeah. Uh, at the moment we're in Cannon Mills and we're heading towards Stockbridge. Take this walk, but we're going to try and find some nice places along, along the walk to film and photograph. And Jane is going to be your guide for today, as she's an Edinburgh, Edinburgh resident. So stay tuned for this Random Life production. This is where we're going. Now we're walking up the hill. You wouldn't lose Jane in a in a Scottish winter, would you? Listen to that waterfall, Jane. I keep going down that way. Yeah. Oh yeah. I wonder if they've got those. They came here about three years ago when they had the, the biggest flower in the world that only blooms every so many years. What was, was that? Uh, it was in the, one of the hot houses. It's this great big phallic like um, plant with a big flower. And there were queues of people going all the way out the door of the hot house. I had to wait about an hour just to see this plant. Jane's going undercover. Look, it does actually match your hair. Look, go, go closer. Look, look at the hair colour though. Look, we're colour matching. <laughs> it completely. Auburn. The Auburn tree. The Auburn it. tree. It's got some really long, complicated name that you're never going to remember. I don't know why they don't just give it a common name. There's some more Auburn trees here. A bit hairy. Oh, look, it does. You're going to. Redwood. Oh, they're types of redwood. Look, go into that tree, see if you blend. They're like a sort of Chinese. Oh my god, you totally blend. Look. Yeah. And it's got a nose as well. Look, it's got, look. It's got my nose there. Look. <laughs> my nose and your face colour. I like the colours on that tree. Right, let's go and see what this house is about. Dark nose. It's beautiful. And this is all free. Yeah. The only thing you have to pay for in this, the only thing you have to pay for in here is the botanical gar botanical garden. I'm reliably informed. No, is, this is the botanical oh no, I mean the hot houses. The, hot houses. the Victorian style hot houses. I'm trying to do my kamikaze thing to keep this camera stable. My kamikaze stance, it's called. I don't think that's a path, is it? Yeah, it is. We're going on a little secret garden walk today. I'm going to have to edit this very carefully. How big it is. Yeah. It's quite old. Little cherry poos. And it's nice coming at this time of year because it's quiet. Yeah. yeah, when my dad was a student at Edinburgh University studying forestry, he used to come to the botanical gardens Did he? quite a lot. Yeah, because they had nurseries here. Or well, they still do. So the Edinburgh University uh, Botany and Forestry Department have quite a lot going on at the Botanical Gardens. That's 
a rhododendron tree. Is it? Yeah, this is a really colourful uh, when all the rhododendron is out. Really vibrant pinks and purples. And so I've learnt something, that's a rhododendron tree. Yeah. There are lots of different, different species of rhododendron. So there you go. You're learning a bit in this log today, if you don't already know. These are all rhododendron. Here's another one. Rhododendron fulvum. Lots of different species. There's another one. So you can imagine when it's all in bloom. Oh my god, so the best when's when's the best time of year to come here then? Oh uh, well it's usually out in the September time. He's going, he's gone. This garden is really pretty. Yeah, this is one of the uh, attractions, one of the um, top three attractions in Edinburgh actually, after the Royal Yacht Britannia and the castle. And because it's free to come into, it is pretty popular. Well, that's good in itself, isn't yeah. it, that it's free? Yeah, because Kew Gardens is what? Five pounds, I think. It's about 16. No, that's for special Gardens. occasions. No, oh. the normal entry price for Kew Gardens, it's, it was £13 about three years ago. It's probably gone up to £16 now. There's a silver birch tree. So anyway, on a more serious note, Edinburgh tip, this is free and the bus Best value bus is a £4 all day bus pass to get around Edinburgh um, and that will get you through for 24 7. So uh, free and £4. And then you get your lunch from Greg's and that will cost you £2.25 or £3 steak for a steak bake and a coffee. For a steak, and a coffee 2 .25. So that's cheap at the price, £11 for all that. And then you still get to travel some more and do some more excursions. So there you go. A random tip. Although they've now taken away the uh, cheapo bus, the 35 uh. <laughs> that you could arrive at Edinburgh Airport and jump on the uh, local bus and just pay £1.60 to get you all the way to the centre. But they've done away with that now. They've yeah, I was popular annoyed. I used to get a bus for £1.50 to get to the centre of Edinburgh, at £1.60, but they've cancelled it now. So the cheapest bus to get from the airport to Edinburgh is £4.50 unless you go on the tram, which is £5.50. Yeah. Buses are a little slower, trams a little quicker. You decide which one you want to get. The one thing I don't understand is why people get taxis to the centre of Edinburgh. Yeah, when it's so well connected by public transport. Yeah. And the buses are clean and, and cheap. And the tram is clean and cheap. Well, I think the tram's a little bit expensive, but... The colour is gorgeous. Darjeeling red. That's its common name. Folks, this botanical garden, I have to say, I'm very impressed. Lots of different things to look at. Probably the best time to come is the spring, but we're in the winter time now. So we're going to give it a go. Look at this view here. And how long has this botanical garden been here, do we know? Oh, since the early 1800s. Look at this, I almost feel um, 
This is almost like a scene from Outlander, isn't it? Mm, yeah, it's really quiet. Well, Monica McKillicuddy, I'm doing my best to relive Outlander. No, I'm doing. I'm just. Oh. I'm. I'm doing my best to relive Outlander here, folks. So, have a look at this. It's beautiful. Very pretty, isn't it? That little walk. And there's a house somewhere. So, do you see a house, or am I seeing things? Yeah, there's various cottages and things. Uh, Inverleaf House, and then there's a botanic cottage. Oh, here we're going oh, towards the, the houses glass houses here. That's a sign. And the science buildings. So, part of Edinburgh University um, Botanics, uh, you know, Botany Department is based here. Look at that statue in the distance. Look. Oh yeah, they've got some wood carvings. I'll probably edit this down, but yeah. I really... I the Doik Gardens actually last year with the walking group. And that had all these um, uh, sculptures made out of tree trunks. I do really feel like I'm in the... Um, be it being in a film set here, to be honest. Look at this river here and then I want to see this tree here that's being cut. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We need to we need to half inch some of that wood, Jane. We'd be burning fires forever. But you have to wait for about a year for the wood to get dry. I've already got the cypress tree that's all chopped up in pieces in the back garden. So we're gonna walk in this direction and we're gonna go into the hot houses. We're going to exit through the east gate. So we came in through the west gate. And we're exiting out through the east gate, and luckily, I'm very lucky today, because you have to pay to get into these. But Jane, into the yes, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm qualifying it, but you have to pay to get into these houses. I've got repeat again. But Jane's luckily got her little card, so we can get in for free. And how much is it? £61 a year for. £61 a year, but Jane can get into most National Trust places with it. Well, no, it's not National Trust. It's, it's Q. Uh, it's all botanical gardens. gardens. So get to use Kew Gardens, this one, uh, Doit Gardens, which is down near Peebles. Look. And uh, there's some others. Don't move. Are you shitting me? Oh my God, did you see that? <laughs> he just jumped right on me. Oh my God. I tried to. Let's just stay still. I can't even believe he climbed up on me. Look, they're never that cheeky. The biggest plant in the world, the biggest flower in the world, the phallus something something. So same design as the uh, hot houses in Kew Gardens. Yes. <laughs> Victorian. But I wonder if it was the same designer who designed these than the ones in queue. Of course they needed to have the height. <laughs> 